Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tenon and today I'm filming an unboxing. I believe that this is the adult book only box for March. Once again, I don't remember the theme, so let's just dive in and see what we have, I guess. So as per usual, we have this paper on top and then, oh, we do actually have a spoiler card here. So the theme for this month is Rotten Opulence. Of course, as this is a book only option, we don't have all of the goodies. So we just have the book and I am so excited to see what this is because I haven't seen spoilers, but I've heard people say that this is beautiful so yeah i'm very excited for it straight away we have really beautiful sprayed edges so as you can see we have a black sprayed edge but then we have flowers stenciled in as well i really love this color scheme already and i still don't know what the book is to be completely honest with you i know that this is upside down because i can see some text upside down just at the top here so without further ado let's see what this one is this is the Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. Now, this is one that I don't actually know anything about. It's not one that I've seen anything about either, so this is completely new to me. But this is the front cover. Of course, we have really pretty purple foiling on there. The back of it is very plain, actually. There's not much going on. And then the sprayed edges, as you saw earlier, are just beautiful. So we have an extra detail here. We have a crown in the middle, which is really nice and yeah I really do love it. On the top we have the flowers and at the bottom we have the same design as well. Let's see what we have under the dust jacket. Yep we have a really amazing design under the dust jacket so this is actually printed onto the book itself. It is I guess like a stained glass window with some crowns and some flowers going all the way around. Here's a little close-up for you guys once again. The back of this one is exactly the same it just doesn't have the text on there and then I do have to hold this one sideways to get it all in frame but this is the spine which again has the same design on there and it has the title and the author's name on there as well. Oh the end pages are definitely drawing me in just from looking at these characters they look like Bryson Hunt from Crescent City which I know they're not but I am definitely getting those vibes just from this artwork alone. Are the back end pages different? Yes they are. Ooh okay we have different characters here or at least a different male protagonist so there might be a love triangle or something like that we shall see and then as per usual with all fairy loot books this one is signed by the author as well. Oh uh, okay okay we also have artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket which I guess you could put this on display on the book itself as well and have the original cover kind of be the back of it if that makes sense. I probably won't do that just because I prefer the original cover design but if you wanted a different cover then this would definitely be a cool one. To be honest considering the hype that I've seen around this edition I'm not really that blown away. Like I really do like it. I think it is a nice edition. I like that they've taken different elements from from the cover and put it into the sprayed edges and things like that. However, this as an addition doesn't blow me away for some reason. Now, I don't know if it's because I didn't really know anything about the book beforehand, but I feel like that's a case with me a lot of the times for Fairy Loot. I seem to forget what the books are gonna be. And so, unfortunately, something is just lacking in this one. I don't know if it's just the design that is not something for me, but it is a pretty addition and I do like what they've done with it. Of course, I will pop up the original cover up on screen for you guys now, just so that you can see what it looks like and what the differences are between that one and the special edition. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, I don't know what it looks like because this is the first time I've actually seen this book. So I don't know if there are any major differences or anything like that, but this is a pretty edition. Not my favorite that Fairy Loot have ever done, but yeah, it's a very, very nice one. And let's just find out what the book is actually about. So the synopsis reads, when Law was 13, she escaped a cult in the catacombs beneath the city of Della. And in the 10 years since, she has lived by one rule. Don't let them find you. Easier said than done when her magic ties her to the city. Mortem is a magic born from death and is a high priced and illicit commodity in Della. Law has made a living running poisons for the city's underbelly but when a run goes wrong she's captured by the king and expects to be sent to the pyre but the king has different plans. Law is thrust into the sainted king's glittering court when no one can be believed and even fewer can be trusted. Guarded by Gabriel, a duke turned monk, and continually running up against Bastion, the king's near-do-well heir, Law tangles in politics, religion, and forbidden romance as she attempts to navigate a debauched and 
opulent society, but the life she left behind in the catacombs is catching up with her, and even as Law makes her way through the sainted court above, danger from below draws ever closer. That definitely has me intrigued now. I didn't know that this was a book about cults, I didn't really know anything about it to be honest, but that is an element that I am definitely interested in reading about. One of my favourite ever books is After the Fire by Will Hill, which focuses on cults. That is definitely more of a contemporary book rather than a fantasy book, however, as I mentioned, I just think it's such a fascinating thing. It's very scary actually that that is something that still happens, but I am very excited to see how it's done in this one. Of course, we have dark magic in here as well, which is definitely an element that I love in my fantasy books as well. So yeah, this is one that, now I've read the synopsis, I'm definitely more interested in it. I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, however, just from the look of this one, it's not personally for me. So I'm glad that we read that together, I'm glad that I'm now definitely more interested in it, and hopefully I can pick it up soon actually. I definitely need to make it a goal of mine to read a subscription box book per month, because I am awful at putting these down and then never reading them. So I am going to try and do that for the next few months, and hopefully that means I can get to this one soon. However, I don't know if you can see behind me on these shelves, no, they're just at the top there. I do have a shelf dedicated to those books, and they're scattered about on my shelves behind me as well, so I do have a few that I need to get to. Whether I will prioritise this or not, I don't know, but I am glad to have it. It does sound like a book that I will enjoy. And as I mentioned, even though the cover doesn't personally appeal to me, what they've done with this special edition is really beautiful. It's all tied in together. And once again, Fairy Loot have produced a really nice looking book. Please do let me know what you thought of this edition down below. And if you've heard anything about this book or have read it yourself, please let me know any thoughts you have on it as well. That would definitely sway me to pick this one up. So please make sure to comment any thoughts that you have. As well as that, if you have made it this far through into the video, please go ahead and leave me some flower emojis in the comments. You guys saw the sprayed edges, you guys saw the flowers on the cover. I just think that's one of the most beautiful parts of this book and so definitely fitting for the emoji of the video. So if you don't have anything in particular that you would like to say but you would like to let me know that you're still here, please go ahead and do that now. And as always, please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. But that is it for me today guys, thank you so so much for watching, it truly does mean the world to me and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye!